What's up guys? Welcome back. Today's a Sunday, you know what it is. Today is one of those tutorial videos again. I know it's been a while since I've probably made like an active tutorial video, like a proper one. No, actually no, that's a lie. That's two weeks ago. The May, the beat and make legit. But what's special about today is that uh, I'm bringing back just suggestions again. I'm sorry that I've been away from all these suggestions that you guys made previously. And yeah, I don't know, I've been, I just went on a whole tangent making music that I kind of wanted to make. However, we are back this week with videos that were suggested by you. And today we're looking at Cities of Eve, which I believe it's Toby Rush, welcome. You um, have gotten another video. I believe you asked for a different video before. Boss, I think, Toby. Who is so, so who is Cities of Eve? For those who don't know, he's an American like experimental hip hop artist, which is very down my lane. I love music like this. So yeah, um, when I first saw the suggestion, I actually didn't know who Cities of Eve was. I mean, I kind of knew of him, but I didn't really take a listen. But Cities of Eve's real name is Gavin Mace who is born in Memphis, Tennessee. It says here that his influences include like 3-6 Mafia, 8 Boy and MJ, MJG, Black Moon, Big Pun, Non-Fiction. I'm sorry, I don't actually know a lot of these guys. So I know 3-6 Mafia, but the others I'm not quite, you know, well versed on. So I might go through those guys as well. And Upon listening to his music, I know he samples a lot. So he's a hair sample heavy producer and I haven't been sampling in a minute. So yeah, it's my sisters with voices. Kind of funny name, but the song is fucking crazy dope, so yeah, so that's the fucking song that we're sampling today. Quick disclaimer, I'm using this plugin called Splitter. I'll link it down below for those who are interested. I believe it's free, uh, it's in, but it's an Ableton Max for Live product. It's made by this woman called Azuki, and she's amazing. I'll link all, I'll link the steps below. With Splitter, what it does is that it splits like all of the, the the tracks, vocals and shit. So as you can see, like I got the bass, drums, other is like literally everything else besides vocals, bass and drums. And it's actually pretty damn good because like after I let me solo and you can see. So that's the original sample. So what, what this does is that it just briefly it briefly like changes the pitch of the actual sample so it just doesn't sound the same. Old sounding hat. Yep, then the, I use this break. Um, this bass is just a, if you have Ableton, it's just the sub side bass. This is Ableton that we set. So it's just. And I put the decapitated dog fat uh, preset on. Yeah, uh, then I have this low heat SB44 effect rack. I'll put this rack in a link down below as well.
I'm very like, how do I say? I, I can't really tell what pitch I should leave it in because it's just, yeah, it's hard to decide. But anyway, so what I did after was like, I chopped the sample even more after resampling it to give to give this. Um, I didn't use like a MIDI or anything, I just went in and chopped it up even more. That's it for the video. I will play the beat after this. Check the link in the description. I have a website, check my beats out. I have 10 free beats because if you like indie rock and streamer trap, then you're fucking you know, all 10 beats of mine. Yeah, I got Discord as well for like-minded producers like you. Uh, if you want to find a community where you can get feedback from me directly or from my other friends who are also producers, go join. Click in the description, it's just right there. Make sure to like, subscribe, and the beat will play right after this. Peace.